Hey guys, it's Val Trickle 2. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Minecraft TNT with markers, not colored pencils. Colored pencils stuck, sorry. But I want you to decide on something. I want you to comment below and say which one's best. This creeper or this creeper. Head or body. Which one is better? One, the first one, the second one, or the third one? Please comment below. I need to know so I can make it better. And I just took away the bit of that. I'm going to draw the TNT with. Sorry, that one I messed up with. Okay. I like doing it with graph paper because it makes it straighter and all that. So this is what you need. You need a black marker. I'm using a Sharpie because I can't find a black marker in my house. A red marker. A ruler if you want your line straight. Um, a pencil if you want to go over it. And you know how you do TNT like I did over there as bubble letters? I'm going to do foam letters. Yes, I love foam letters. I have like three boxes of them. And you don't have to do this, but I make it look better with details. I use glitter glue. It comes with three other ones, gold and silver, but I'm only going to use red. Okay, what you're going to use right now is your black marker or Sharpie. You're going to do a 20 by 20. You see these black dots here? can't see that one over there, right there. You're going to use those for the square and the TNT. The reason why I'm using a sharp because I'm going to go over with details for the red glitter. Make sure it is a 20 by 20. If you do 20 by 19 by 19, it's uneven and it looks different. And I kind of did a little squiggle there, but I will. I'm not used to drawing straight lines at all. But I don't like using rulers either because sometimes they mess me up. I don't like them anyways because they make fun of me. So you look, these can be two straight lines and two, oh well. Okay, so anyways, next what you want to do when you have your square, pause this video if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Now, sometimes I don't make it right. I put my T somewhere. So... I was going to get this much space. So I'm going to put my. I'm going to mark it right here. There. To there. Alright. Probably don't see it, but it's right, one right here. Alright, there. Sorry, it's the Sharpie top's bent. I don't know why. I guess my sister. Okay, so I usually do it all the way, not halfway. It makes that. The reason why I put those two Sharpie dots, that's where the TNT of foam um, letters are going to be. They let mess me up. Okay, oh well. That's where the TNT letters are going to be. Now you can pause this video in any one if you want to. And subscribe, please. Okay, then I'm going to take the TNT letters off. You probably think that's the last thing you should do, but I don't like to do that the last thing. I like doing the fun stuff the first thing. Making sure I flatten it. I just got these, and sometimes they're not sticky. And I'm really mad when they're not sticky. Because then I have to glue them on, and they fall off if you hang them in your room or refrigerator, whoever you're doing it for a friend. You can do this for a friend if you want to, or yourself, and hang it in your room. I like it. I like to make it for myself. And people say, Ooh, I like how you drew that. Has, like, I don't know stuff like that okay so after you're done with your bubble letters TNT or foam letters if you don't have any foam letters you could do bubble letters okay you have TNT so now what you want to do is do three lines across it's probably not gonna make it straight I like to do four lines one two three four four rows and put it straight down one two three four gonna skip the T one two three four okay so that's one one two three four you could do five I like to do it one two three four kinda did five right there one two three four five yeah see I did five but I don't care one two three four five I'm just gonna do five now one two three four five Sorry, my hand's in the way. 
It probably don't look straight because I don't draw straight lines again. Like I say. Like I said. One, two, three, four, five. And if you're doing five by five, you should not have one row extra left. I just do because I did four rows right here. But that I'll just do the glitter with. Okay. So after you got that, I'm going to make sure it didn't get on my desk. Because sometimes Sharpies go through other pieces of paper. Or your desk, if you have a white desk like me. <laughs> I don't like colorful desks. Sorry, but I don't. Okay, you can skip through this part. It's probably going to take a while. So then you want to get your red marker and just color through it. Now, I don't know how to skip through videos, but I've seen people do it. Now, you've probably seen some of my drawings, How to Draw a Cat. I'm not really good at it because I was in a hurry because I had somewhere to be. But I can draw better. Trust me. I am a better drawler. You can probably skip through this if you want to. I'm just going to draw real quick. Now, while I'm doing this, think about the um, choices I gave you dur during the, the first part of the video, the beginning of the video. The reason why I don't like color pencils is because they don't make it brighter. They don't make it brighter, as you think it would I mean you could color it very like dark in it with your hand but I don't want to put too much pressure on my hand because my hand hurts I just got out of the cast I slammed my finger into the wall really hurt okay so then I'm gonna do the bottom real quick my hands probably in the way but oh that looks orange that kind of looks orange right there, but it's red, trust me. Because you can see the top that's red. And I got my finger. So please comment below which creeper was better. I know the the creeper head was only two color pencils, but the creeper the creeper body that was colored was three. Because I have a Minecraft poster in here that has a creeper on it. And it has three different kinds of green color. And I didn't see that. I never see it. <laughs> like I'm the last person to see something when everybody says it out loud. One of those kind of people. Um, so please comment about the creeper again. It's the last time I'm going to say it. And subscribe. Now you can skip through the glitter if you don't have any glitter. I want to just put glue then do red glitter get glitter glue it's better faster and easier and you probably see some white spots down here I'm gonna try to clear those out again you can skip through this video if you're faster color than me or drawler I've seen some TNT drawings on YouTube not really good. I've seen one that was okay. Make sure I don't like, get one through. Let me get my glitter glue. If you have glitter glue you do, and you don't have the red one, you run out or something, or you bought a different thing, it's okay. I mean, you can use probably a gold to make it look prettier. I use glitter glue to make it look shinier. I love shiny things. Like, I try to make stuff shinier. See, and it makes it brighter and prettier. But if you're a guy watching this, you don't have to use glitter glue. Um, I like stuff pretty. Uh, of course, that's in the way. Oh, whoops. I will fix that in a second. I kind of got a little glitter right there. You probably can't see it. I see that right there. I'm just going to smear it in right there. I make the corners look fat. I don't know why. But I like to make them look like that. Now you probably see this big white open space. You don't know what to do with it. You could probably put glitter in there somewhere if you have glitter glue. I think you can get this at Walmart $3 or Dollar Tree or something. I can't remember. 
Or you could probably just use your red marker and just color it in. I don't like to do that. I tried that once. It did not look good. I don't know why. And yeah, so if you have the glitter glue and just let it dry before you hang it somewhere or lay it down because it will spill kind of like water paint. Okay, thanks for watching. Wow, purple too.